Uh, are you watching that again? This is the best part. Here we go. Yeah. One, two, three. Yeah. Ah, oh, what a great match. What a great match. That Phoenix and Michelle McCool and Layla, Vicky Guerrero. I mean, they're all my favorites. You know? I'm really proud of them to get to where they are. Oh, they've worked hard. Because, you know, even they had to start somewhere. All right, all right. All right, all right, so here we are. Living it day by day, you are a superstar. At least that's what she used to always say. Go away. So where are you going again? I'm headed up to Goldberg's Wrestling Academy in Suburban, Maryland. We're starting to film the Jesse K documentary today. So this is the girl you met at the Chris Jericho book signing? Yeah. Yeah. Should be interesting. Should be a good project. All right. I'll see you later. Okay, bye. Headed up to Goldberg's Wrestling Academy here for the first time. I'm going to sit down with Jesse and talk to her about her training and uh, meet the other wrestlers there and the trainers and the staff. Should be a lot of fun today. I'm looking forward to getting this project started. So apparently Jesse trains on Wednesday nights, Thursday nights, and here on Saturday afternoon, which is good for me because, man, if you try to drive on the Beltway here during the week, it is crazy. I'd never be able to make it up here. Mia knows what I'm talking about. DC traffic sucks. Fortunately, Severn's only about an hour away from my house, so this should work out pretty well. Pretty exciting day. I get to meet Dwayne Gill, the owner, for the first time. He's been very nice to let me come and take some video and some pictures of you know, Jesse Kay and the other wrestlers that are training here. And we're really looking forward to meeting the other wrestlers as well. And um, you know, they're all chasing their dream, just like Jesse is. And it should be pretty exciting to follow this adventure here. Here at Gilbert's Pro Wrestling Academy. Of course, Dwayne Gill spent some time in the WWF wrestling as Gilbert and uh, has an academy here now in Severn, Maryland. So this is where we're going to follow Jessie Kay's story. She's inside training right now. Let's go in and meet her. Oh, hey, hey Jess, how you doing? Good, man. How, how you been? You? I'm good. I'm good. I'm in there. <laughs> Why don't you introduce yourself here? It's the first time that we've met you here in the documentary. Hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Jessica Heiser, uh, Jessie Kay. It's the rename as of now. It's a work in progress, but I like it. <laughs> So, uh, welcome to my life. Yeah. I hope you enjoy. You know, I'm pretty exciting, I guess, but I'm not sure. <laughs> How did you end up here at Gilbert? Uh, I was swimming through the channels in fifth grade. I was like, that's awesome. I remember it was uh, Chris Jericho and Triple H on the television at the time. And I uh, just was hooked ever since. And at the time, 7-Eleven was doing a promotion with the Slurpees or whatever, and they had all the times on the poster. And I was like, oh my gosh, The Rock! And then like, <laughs> so then I got all the times that way and started watching. And uh, I wanted to write. Originally, I wanted to write for professional wrestling. I wanted, be a booker. I did. I wanted mm -hmm. to do creative storylines, everything else. And uh, I made that decision around the ninth grade. And at the time, I was 223 pounds. Wow. So I had no even idea that I would be able to do this. Mm -hmm. uh, March of 2008, I joined my local gym and I asked myself, you know what? Self. <laughs> Self. <laughs> Do you want to be a wrestler? Can you be a wrestler? And I was on the elliptical for five minutes, and I couldn't couldn't go ahead and hang for any more. And I said, yeah, yeah, I want to be a wrestler. I can do it. Wow. So, what do you do full time? You're here three days a week, right? Yes. What are uh, what other responsibilities do you have? I work part time at a, a local bingo hall, which is awesome, mm -hmm. in uh, Dundalk, and I also go to school full time. Um, wow. Go to, yeah, go to school full time. I work on also a part time job as a basketball referee during the season. I also pick up a few games in a few days. <laughs> and um, 
here three days a week, and I'm at the gym at least six days a week. So you have just hours of free time, it sounds oh, like. You know, I just <laughs> kick back and I do nothing for hours on end. Right. So, but I'll uh, show you around. Yeah, absolutely. Sounds good. Right. Sounds good. Yeah. So, Jess, for people that don't know, we uh, met each other at a Chris Jericho book signing. Isn't that crazy? We did. And, you know, um, I've been told that it's not a good idea for me to go to signings anymore. <laughs> but. Why is that? Just to the point where these are your, at this point, it's your colleague now rather than yeah. your admiring, admiring fanatic, you know. But I'm so glad that I went to that book signing with my friend Sarah, who lives in Virginia, and I got to meet you. Had this awesome opportunity. And Chris was pretty cool too, wasn't he? He was. That was the second time I was able to meet him, and he was just a great guy, you know. It was a pleasure. Yeah. So here we are at Gilbert's Academy, and I guess this is behind the scenes. This is where all the action takes place, right? It is serious, serious business. Uh, we have our officers, uh, we got our desks, uh, Earl the Pearl and Ramblin' Rich. Ignore the size difference, okay? <laughs> Not all in the size. The no. size doesn't matter. Yeah, like. Rich, Rich gets upset. He's like, I'm just going to go to my office now. And here, and <laughs> but what like, do they do here? The administrative part of, of Gilbert's Academy, right? right. Where, you know, and, and then, um, I guess, put together the TV shows. and They do. We all, we always have the uh, MCW meetings here. It's like the general location. So uh, the bookers that come in, and they just get everything under control. for the Because the TV tapings are actually a huge big deal for us. And, turning things around for MCW and Maryland wrestling independence in general. So. Are they always in the same location? Um, actually, we're expanding a little bit. They're usually in the new green room in Dundalk. Um, so, but they're expanding a little bit to Joppa Town, and there's we're doing a restaurant, this random restaurant that I've never even heard of before. I'm really excited. <laughs> it's going to be an adventure. I'm sure. You sound like you know a little bit about this. You, you, <laughs> you, you, so, um, you told me off camera here that you, you kind of work the Facebook page and do some of the other stuff for right. MCW. Yeah, I do. I uh, r help run the Facebook page. Um, there's multiple people that do it just so, but different people are on at different times, you know, get because there's 4,000 people, so obviously 4,000 people aren't going to be on at the same exact time. So mm -hmm. the more you update it, the better. Mm -hmm. So, but this is where all the magic takes place, as you can see. And uh, downstairs there's a weight room and... Yep, uh, of course. weight room and uh, the much needed coffee pot. <laughs> yeah. We uh, survive off the coffee. Yes, I will pass and wrist my wrist brace. <laughs> Oops. So Jesse, this is one of your trainers here. This is this is Ramblin' Rich Myers right here, half of the tag team champions, the Holy Rollers. Mm -hmm. Isn't he gorgeous. Look at him. <laughs> okay. Jess is such a good student. Oh. <laughs> she works her butt off. I've never seen. This. She's tougher than all my guys. Well, for yourself, how much how much do you enjoy the actual training compared to the you know, the in, in ring action? Oh, training's fun because I like to I like to watch them all grow from not being able to do anything to be like ready to go, mm -hmm. ready to wrestle, and ready to take their bombs, sell, and everything else they have to do. What, what's your background? How long have you been in professional wrestling? Uh, I started in 1991, <laughs> which would make it like 20 years I've been wrestling. Wow. Yeah, I wrestled for WWF from uh, 92 to 98, just doing preliminary matches. Mm -hmm. What are some of your thoughts about that experience? I mean, and, you know, uh, working for Vince? It was a great and... experience. I got to wrestle all the guys that I grew up watching as a kid. Mm -hmm. So it was, it was a great experience. And it was a learning experience, learning about traveling and being on the road and just learning, learning different stuff from different people. Yeah. So <laughs> any quick Vince stories for us? Just... No, nah, no. No good quick Vince story. No, he, he's an interesting guy from oh, all by all accounts. He's a, he's a nice guy, but a great businessman. You know? Yeah. You have to be. At the academy here, how do you pass down some of the things you learned about you know the traveling and about some of the other sides of, of the, the industry, not just the actual just moves in the ring? Wrestling, yeah. It's, it's, it's a lot of uh, stuff just more or less just uh, being taught to them, just... Stories. Yeah, just stories. So just being a resource. Yeah, being yeah. more or less the stories are what is our teaching tool. Mm -hmm. That'd probably be the easiest way to describe it, because our experiences are more or less turned into stories. Mm -hmm. So Jesse's pretty pretty good student so far. Oh, Jesse's an excellent student. She's my best student. She runs this place. Yeah. It seems to be what I'm hearing. You know, hearing from a lot of people here. Yeah. She runs this place. If you don't believe her, ask her. Yeah. <laughs> As far as for people who make it, there's probably one in a thousand or maybe ten thousand, mm -hmm. you know, that actually get a contract. You know, it, it just doesn't happen what about, very easily. Well, what about these students that come to your academy? What do you do? You take anyone who comes in, or do you have like a no, no, process? No, no, no. Actually, we just turned the student away the uh, other day. It, you know, you've got to have a certain 
physical ability. I'm not here to just take your money. Mm -hmm. You know, we're not we're not that type of school, you know. Okay, let's just get asses in the door. <laughs> let's pay the rent. No. We want to pay the rent, but at the same time, I want to fulfill their dream. I want them to be wrestlers. Mm -hmm. I want them to be managers. I want them to be valets, you know. And I'm not just going to take your money to take your money. Mm -hmm. You know, it just... It, and I, I gotta sleep at night. You know what I mean. And you train men and women here. Oh yeah, right? yeah, yeah, man. yeah. Of course, man. Yeah. Got Miss Jessica right here. And let me tell you, watch what I'm saying. Within the next year, you're gonna see her on TV, and I mean big time TV. Within a year from today, I'm telling you. <laughs> even if it's just that's to high, do a job or whatever, she will be there in a year. What? What time is it, guys? Um, 12. 15. <laughs> I love you too. Ah, I love you too. <laughs> Jeez. What's your schedule look like today, Jess? What are you doing in there? Uh, we gotta do our basic bumps. We gotta do our Mexican rolls. Hey! <laughs> 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 we gotta do our Mexican rolls. We gotta do run the ropes. Two sets of run the ropes, and then it's up to the trainers at that point. Some chain. How long? Definitely How long have you been? Um, a professional what, wrestler. Like six, seven months. Yeah. Yeah. How's it going so far? It's good. Yeah. Yeah. It's really fun. Good academy here. Mm-hmm. Definitely. What's your, what's the ring name? The what's my ring name? Mm -hmm. Um, I want to use Aaliyah. Oh, I like that. It's pretty. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> how, about, how about you, man? How long have you been training and stuff? Uh, I've actually been wrestling for two years. Oh, very good. Yeah. What, what's your what's your in ring name? Robbie Wayne. Mm -hmm. So are you actually wrestling matches and everything on MCW shows and stuff like that? Uh, congratulations. Very good. Very good. And uh, Jesse, you warned me about this guy. You yeah. said everybody yeah. kind of loves him around here. Oh, yeah. Love, yeah. Thank you. Well, I, I thought you were headed home. <laughs> yeah. Time for some Mexican rolls, man. You never ate me. That's why I went home. Awesome. Hey. So it's probably reason number one thousand I couldn't be a pro wrestler. I can't even do that move right there. Oh, I can't. I can't even stretch like I that. Never could. <laughs> I never could. And then uh, Joy was like, "Do this." I'm like, "Really?" I was like, "This." I was like, "Oh God." <laughs> That's what I look like when I fall out of a chair. Very good, guys. Yes. How long do they do this today? Um, they, they go through this. Here you go. Look, here's exactly what we did. Right here. And they'll do the back bumps, the flip bumps. Then they'll do the uh, Mexican rolls, forward and backwards. Then they run the ropes for a certain amount of times. Then they start whipping each other. That's what they do every, you know, just to basically get them loose. Then they go into the rest of the page and do everything else. The uh, chain rest. Tosses, arm drag, body slams, and that. All that's today? Going to pull yeah. a lot of it. Yeah. It's repetition. You got to do it over and over and Because Jesse told me she comes three times a week. Mm -hmm. is that, yeah. And is is it the same routine? Oh, she's an <laughs> she really is. Well, she's she's got kicks their ass. <laughs> this is where I struggle the most. I do my best. You um, gonna count, baby? Do my best to do thirty. Okay. We going thirty? Woo! Ooh, I can oh, It's got to be a, a 
different kind of satisfaction for you as a trainer versus no. your time in the ring. Do, do you enjoy no. this just as much as the first one? Oh man, you see the look on their face, yeah. dude, after their first no. and second and third time? Yeah. Oh, yeah, we'll do it again! And watch them when they go after like, no. uh, uh, and then they come in like, oh, so much fun, man, I can't do it, I want to do it again! No. You know, it, that's what it's all about, I mean, mm -hmm. watching that, that's, no. uh, that's why I just do commentary. Come on, Jess! Come on, Jess! Go! This is crazy, this is crazy. These guys go. are wearing themselves out. Five more! Five more! Go! Go! Twelve! Go! Thirteen! Go! Fourteen! Go! Way to go! Nicely done, nicely done. That's some good shit there, guys. Wow. This is Mexican rolls. <laughs> I'm a person that runs in half marathons. Runs three miles almost every day and I still get blown up. Hey. That was pretty, that was pretty intense. <laughs> yeah. So what do you have coming up? You guys are gonna run the ropes and then get into basic moves and Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Two sets of running the ropes. First one just running, second one with drop downs. That's fun. <laughs> so are you pretty worn out after the initial set of warm-ups? It uh, is, yeah, and then it's all, all it, you build up to it. Mm -hmm. I mean, originally everyone is blown up, but everyone is slowly getting their breath to move on to bigger and better things. And you've been here with, with Gilbert how long now? Uh, since July. Yeah. So it's, what, March now? Wow. And you're still dying from those warm-ups, so it's crazy. I love it. Do you, yeah, do you find, though, that um, you're, you're building a bigger moveset and learning you know, more and more each time you learning process. Mm -hmm. There's there's never a day that I walk out of here without learning something that I didn't know before. It's awesome. That's just a start for today, right? Yeah. 